Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching, watch this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Mal Tears. How are you doing today? Great, great. How's it going? <laughs> good, good. It's good to have you. And you want to start off by tell us a little bit how the uh, project formed? Go that's on, Spencer. You. No, no you. that's oh, all you. That was what you? you. What do you? Wait, what was the question? I'm sorry again, Michael. <laughs> And how the uh, project came to be? How you guys formed? Oh, uh, well, Mel Tears has existed as just kind of like me, you know, uh, doing solo stuff. But uh, this uh, latest record, uh, Spencer here has joined on as a, my keyboardist. And also he plays a huge role in uh, music videos. He's basically the whole director and, uh, and editor for those. So it's both musical and... Uh, uh, filmographic videographic the, the stuff that he does you know uh which has been like a huge turnaround because like before it's been basically almost almost uh without much identity kind of just putting out music but like this is sort of the reboot and now there's two of us so it's like sonic 2 where there's two characters <laughs> to choose from <laughs> that's awesome and, uh, a lot of 80s vibes you want to tell us all your uh, 80s influences uh, I mean, sure. I mean, like, uh, I've been listening to that stuff since I was like a kid, and uh, have heard like just so much. I've heard too many uh, synth pop records at this point. I've heard so much new wave that uh, it's it kind of just comes naturally. I don't know, like, what we're gonna. I, I I'm not sure at what point we're gonna be able to like break out of that and like maybe write something that's kind of contemporary. But like for the most part, it just comes out cheesy. And I, there's nothing I can do to, to really stop that. So far, Spencer's, uh, his skills with uh, video editing kind of just makes everything extremely, it, it's, it's very on the nose at the end of the day, where it comes off like exactly how I envisioned it, you know, thanks to him. Spencer, why don't you add to this? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really into the 80s style. James has opened up my, my eyes to a lot of classic 80s bands, during the creation of this record, we listened to a lot of Depeche Mode, uh, New Order. Uh, what, what else was on the table? I think like Ministry and uh, a lot, of, a well, lot of. Well, when you say Ministry, like we mean like with, with sympathy, of course, because yeah, like yeah. pretty much everything after that's like EBM and then metal. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, to say that have, with a caveat. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them about your modern influences next. Modern influences? What do you like, Spencer? Yes. What do I like? I what are the bands you like? I am really big into Chillwave and Vaporwave. And that was kind of how I met James, was through the Vaporwave scene. He was oh, making yeah. the, the Vaporwave circuit. Well, <laughs> with, like, you know, my niche uh, BS that I bring around to any scene that I'm in. But, uh, yeah, I, I forgot that that's how we met, right? Like, I was, at a, I was performing at a gig. And then, yep. and then I just like drunkenly sat next to you, right? And then like on some you random did. couch. And then, what did we even talk about like the first time? Uh, uh you just kind of sat down next to me. And you're like, "What's up, dude? What's up? You joined the show?" And I was just a shy kid, like out of place. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm okay." <laughs> and uh, you gave me a button, and you went about your way. And I was like, "Okay, that's cool." And we didn't no, really, really talk again until like a few months later. <laughs> Now, for the people watching who aren't familiar with Vaporwave, you want to explain that a little more? <laughs> that's I all guess you. That's that's me. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, if you'd asked that to anybody else, they would have just said like slowed down and reverbed music. But really, it's grown so much beyond that. It encompasses so many things like future funk, mall soft, uh, echo jams. People are doing this thing called Vaporwave Two. These are genres, right? Vaporwave. These are like these are all genre. These are all like subgenres, and Vaporwave has just grown to this thing where it's like really, it could be anything. You could just put Vaporwave on anything, and most people, if it's if it's of quality, people will accept it into Vaporwave most of the time. It's basically just weird niche underground music, and our label head Alex, he's a good friend of ours, and he's gonna appear in an upcoming music video he says it's like uh a different kind of punk scene where it's just people kind of 
You know, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know, there's there's a lot of commonality. It's kind of like a, you know, how you'd go to like an '80s night or something, and you're likely to hear like maybe some uh, Pet Shop Boys, but then like the next thing they play is like a Sisters of Mercy song and then a Talking Head song or something. It's it's kind of like just an over enveloping kind of term, you know, like vaporwave for like many different sounds and. I think that since a lot of it is so kind of like uh, embedded in like nostalgia and stuff, like I feel like that's kind of why I was drawn to it. And that's kind of like how a lot of things got put together, you know, it's it's like synthesizers and reverb. OK, cool. Let me put on some eyeliner like it, this all kind of meshes in a way, you know, a general sound of like the, the past. Yeah. I want to ask now, when you guys are writing your music, do you envision it being played at the club? Because that's the kind of vibes and energy I get of it, like your club hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them. Some of them. I, I, I'm definitely like, you know, we, we put together songs for like the disco, you know, like, like I just kind of envision sort of like, you know, moms like kind of getting up from their chairs and being like, oh, I like this kind of music and they get up with their drinks and the gal pals start dancing around because that's typically like, you know, the, the audience that really digs us is like parents and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tell, uh, tell us a little about your uh, latest single, Take My Picture. Oh, why don't you talk about that, Spence? Talk about uh... Take My Picture. That Do wasn't it. really a single. That was kind of just like we wanted to put out one more music video before the album came out. And we already had four singles out. And we're like, let's not overdo it. We won't put out a single. The album's going to come out in a week anyway. So we made the music video. Uh, we went out to just some parks, some woods. And I was just, that was the first one I was in. James was kind of directing me on what to act. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. Uh, and then James filmed his part, and we got our friend Sleep Pattern. They do really amazing video glitch to do that kind of rose pattern that you see that's enveloping the camcorder footage that we have, and the, I really like the product that came together. I like things being very, like, DIY and kind of, like, not super over overdone i guess in terms of like production and stuff like that i like things that feel very kind of on the fly um and pretty much like we've been just like kind of putting our heads together to put this kind of like weird vision on the camera and for the song itself it's like really like we just kind of made something extremely sappy and kind of like the way how uh oh there's okay so i, I should tell you this michael um one of like uh, the bands that I really, really admire and like look up to is Soft Cell, and uh, the album Nonstop Erotic Cabaret kind of is like just like this kinky, dark subject matter for most of it, and then it ends on uh, this song called "Say Hello, Wave Goodbye," and it's like the sweetest kind of like cutest song on the record, and I I wanted to leave it on that kind of same note, and then on that note, there's also the video music video collection for that album called a. Uh, non-stop exotic video show and that's kind of like what we're on the road to working on where there's like a, a music video for like every song on the record cool so uh, i see the record's been getting a lot of good positive reviews which is awesome a lot of people are liking it oh yeah we're very happy with that mm -hmm. so what's next for you guys Content, I guess, like, we're just still uh, making stuff, you know? Like, we, we want to just keep making music videos and uh, and uh, putting out things, just, like, content for people to consume. Because, like, uh, I'm not really someone who likes to just take a huge break from art, you know? Like, we, we're just going to continue to make stuff, like, uh, no matter what, you know? Like, that's never going to stop. Right, Spence? Yeah, I think uh, immediately on the horizon is we just got to film music videos for the rest of the album. We're about halfway done with that. Uh, we got some more merch planned. Hopefully we can get the album on other physical medias because uh, tapes are really cool, but we've heard that people don't listen to exclusively tapes. We hear there's these other like discs out there called like a vinyl or a CD. I don't know what it's about. We, we're asking our guy to look into it. Well, these uh, kind of discs called vinyl or CD. You're not that young yeah. when you don't know what CDs are. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a Gen Z. Zoomer. I just do streaming, okay? 
I just oh, God. Of these cassettes just you go own two vinyl records. <laughs> oh, really? That's what they're for? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Now tell us a little about what it was like working through the pandemic. During the pandemic, um, for the most part, uh, it's really, really easy for us. Like, we see each other pretty often, you know? Like, we were very, uh, you know, it, like, that's pretty much it. Like, we've just been kind of seeing each other, like, during pandemic and then also, like, filming, like, whenever we can. A lot of the time, we, we kind of work remotely as well over the internet, you know? Like, we, we film things together and then, like, immediately that day over the internet, we'll start, like, editing it and uh, kind of remotely, you know, just all, like co-directing everything from like music as well you know there's tons of times where i'm just like sharing what's going on my on my computer to uh to spencer and we're just like trading off ideas over music there's plenty of times where like uh i'll show him a demo and there's like one itty bitty piece of a vocal recording or something like that that he has an issue with and like right then and there we can fix that all you know because like uh we don't have to be in person to really like do it together like we can do it from our little nooks <laughs> yeah, I I don't think uh, I don't think we really have a frame of reference for how it would work outside of the pandemic because we only started working together within the last year. So everything that's been done has been within these kind of limitations. And I mean, other, other than that, we live like about an hour and a half away from each other, something like that. So we usually have to travel to each other to to work on anything together so uh, i don't know i don't think it's going to be very different when we go back to no no pandemic now if people want to find you online look you up on social media get your music how do they do that oh i mean like we're we're probably the only musical act known as mel tears if you want to google the mel tears band or you can find us on linktree at link dot tr slash mel tears uh we're on pretty much every music streaming platform and uh our record is available on bandcamp you can find it on spotify apple Mu what what's another one that we're, we're i'm not thinking of youtube uh you ban bandcamp uh, yeah. it's the record label specific plaza so just put that in your search engine and you'll find uh where we have our merch yeah also, shout out you can specific find me plaza. Yeah, shout-outs to them. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram as Mr. Mello. That's my, my personal tag, and I am usually doing stuff on my own. I have uh, a lot of visuals that I do, and maybe some other stuff in the future. Mm-hmm. You guys have a bunch of music videos out, which is awesome. Yeah. Yes. And you said you're going to be uh, working on some more? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, constantly. Mm-hmm. We're just we have, always We have one ready material. right now. Yeah, and when we run out of music videos, I guess, uh, to do, I guess songs. we'll just start to make more songs. Yeah. <laughs> and did you guys say you're going to do a video for every song on the album? Pretty yeah. much, oh yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. It was good having you and talking with you, and uh, everybody look them up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for having us, thank Michael. You. Uh, everyone appreciate Michael for doing such a great service to local musicians and artists out there and keeping the scene alive, you know, with this kind of level of enthusiasm. It really is a great honor to be a part of this channel. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Appreciate it. And for everybody watching, if you go to the video description and uh, check out their music that I've linked below.